Okay guys, so imagine you have a beautiful website like this one here where your visitors are confident enough to spend their money, they add products to cart, they proceed to check out, and then... Oh boy, look at that. This is the email confirmation that they're getting. What does that say about your business then? Okay, so today I'm going to show you how you can go from this do something more like that. So not only a really professional looking email that's fully customizable, but you can also use conditional logic to insert content dynamically. So basically that means that each customer will receive a different email based on their previous purchases, which in turn will highly increase your conversion rate and generate repeat business as well. Okay, so let me show you. Okay, very good. So for this, we're gonna use yeah, mail, And as you can see, this is a WooCommerce email customizer. So there are two versions. There's the free one here that you can get for free on the WordPress repo website. Or we have the paid one here starts at 59 US dollars. The only difference with those two is mainly the conditional logic. If you need the conditional logic, you'll have to get the paid version. Okay, so that's basically it. So let's go to our WordPress dashboard and let's install our plugins. So we go to plugins, add new, and then upload plugin, choose file. And you select the file you downloaded from their website. So open, install now, activate plugin, and let's install the second one as well. So add new, the one for the conditional logic, upload plugin, choose file, select the file, open, install, and there you go, activate as well. And there you go, now we're ready to customize our emails. So if you go to the WooCommerce section, you can see we have an additional one here that says email customizer. So click on this one. And there you go, this is bringing us to a new screen. So as you can see, we have three different areas. So by the side, we have all the different elements. So it's a simple drag and drop feature. So you can grab any of them and drop them on your page. So it could be a heading, could be a button, could be an image, a title, whatever you want, okay? And also we have all our different settings. On top right here, you can select which email you want to be working on, okay? So you have new order, cancelled orders, processing orders, completed orders, and so on. So the one we're going to be working on today is going to be the new order because this, this is basically the most important one. This is the confirmation email, the very first one they will receive. So take good care of this one, obviously, you know? And right here in the middle, this is basically our workspace. So this is our canvas where you can design anything you want and you have a quick preview of what it looks like. So let's get started then. So this is basically the default layout that comes with WordPress out of the box. And now we can customize it to fit our own requirements, okay? So let's go back to our website. So as you can see, the theme of our website is related to bikes. Uh, we have a very beautiful hero section and our main colors are black and red. So let's try to translate that onto our layout and onto our template. And now from here, you have two different options. You can either customize this one and edit the content or start afresh all together with a blank canvas. As you can see, if you hover on this one, it says blank. So you can start afresh all together. So let's click this, leave, and there you go. Now we're going to start completely from scratch and create our own template the way we want it. So just to show you the different elements here, as you can see up the basics, all these are logo, heading, image, button, text, etc, etc. In general mode, you have all that's related to spaces, dividers, columns, so this basically for the structure itself. And then finally, we have here at the bottom, this is everything related to WooCommerce, so all the WooCommerce blocks. So billing address, shipping address, all the items, all the details and so on, okay? So now we can go ahead and actually insert these on our page. So I suppose the very first thing you want to add on top is perhaps your own logo or company name. So let's grab this and drop it here. As you can see, by default, it will show the WooCommerce one. So we can change the image now. And there you go. As you can see, we have our logo already from the website. So we can use this image. But obviously, this is a white logo on a grayish background. So that doesn't sound good at all, does it? And the image is maybe a bit too big. So we can change the size here, the width. So we can organize this slightly. So make it a bit slow, uh, smaller. There you go, 70. And now we can change the background color as well if you we wanted to. For this, all we have to do is scroll down the page and let's select our color. So as you can see, you have predefined colors. You can save them as well. We're going to go with this red here, okay? Because we said our website is mainly black and red. So we're going to use red for the header. And then underneath, we're going to add a message, maybe thank you for your order or something like that. Okay, so we're going to add this as a heading per perhaps. Okay, so email heading, so drag and drop. And now we can start customizing this section. All we have to do is basically click on it. 
As you can see, you can add some padding all around it. As you can see, 41 pixels on top, etc. So basically, the padding is all the breathing space all around it. And then we can change our background color. So let's try black, jet black, or maybe a dark shade of gray, maybe darker than this. Okay, maybe this color would be fine. And now let's change the content of our heading. So thank you for your order or something like this. Okay, and now we can center this maybe in the middle. As you can see, you can align to the left, align to the right, or maybe centered. So I think centered would look good here. And then you can take care of the font as well. So if you have your favorite font, maybe uh, you can select among all of these here. But we're going to keep Helvetica. It's not, it's not bad at all. And then you can change the font size and the thickness as well. You can make it bold, italic, and so on. And so these are the usuals, basically. Okay. So that's basically it for this section. And then what do you want to add underneath? I suppose the order summary. So we scroll down the page. Our options here, WooCommerce. And as you can see, you have order items. So drag and drop. Put it here just underneath. Okay. So there you go. And now we can stylize this. So again, you might want to have a white background, which is absolutely fine. And just change the color here of your heading. As you can see, we can change this to red or you can customize this fully. Maybe maybe you want this to have a dark background. OK, maybe we can start from there. Try something a bit different, you know, so that it doesn't look like the default layout. So let's select a background color here. And like we said, we might select maybe a dark gray or maybe jet black whichever you prefer you know let's select this color here obviously the title now has to be white as you can see the text color should be white also normally and the border colors perhaps also white or maybe a shade of gray whichever you want maybe just like that what do you think i think that looks good so now we might add a little bit of spacing on top and bottom. So here we're going to put maybe 75 and the same at the bottom again, 75, a bit of breathing space. That looks good. Very good. And as you can see, you can even change all the titles at the moment. It says product, quantity, price, subtotal, payment method, total. You can change all these here immediately, which is quite handy, to be honest, you know. So let's click on the outside and let's see what it looks like. I think that looks good. What do you think, guys? Okay, very good. So let's carry on with our design. Now let's change the content here slightly. Let's use an actual order that's been placed, you know. So earlier on, I placed an order. So this is the one here, David Gary at hello at mrweb.tv. So let's click on this. And it's going to fetch the content of that actual order. And as you can see in that order, we ordered a bicycle for $2,850. So if this was the case, now let me show you the conditional logic, which is absolutely fantastic feature. So what that means basically, is that now you can display items in the email based on your customer's previous purchases. So let's say, for instance, your customer here purchased a bike at $2,850. So we might rightfully assume that he might be interested in buying gloves, protective gloves, and perhaps a helmet as well to ride his bicycle. In which case we could get, for instance, those gloves here on the website and maybe add the helmet as well. Okay, so let's add those two here at the bottom together based on conditions logic okay so we're going to add two columns here okay so let's click on our section here let's change the background color let's go for red this time we're going to add a bit of padding to the left and to the right as well okay so perfect and now we can add a conditional logic so we're going to apply the conditional logic to the whole section here and then we can add the images so based on the type of purchase we will show this or not okay so add conditional logic select the logic and there you go from here you can select among all these different options you have billing country the product category uh, total order uh, payment method shipping method and even coupon codes so if your customer purchase using a specific coupon code you can have a dedicated message just for that coupon code which is absolutely amazing again you know so in our case here it will be the product category and let's make sure this is bicycle there you go. So if the customer purchased a bicycle, like this is the case, then we will show these items, those two items. OK, so don't forget to click save. And now we can add our images. So let's go here. Let's go back on top image. So we add image one here and we're going to add image two. 
very good and now we can insert them here okay so let's change the image together so first one let's select a helmet perhaps use image and for this one we're gonna use the gloves so here they are in red as well use image and now clearly as you can see we have an issue because this is way too big so we can resize this obviously you know so we're gonna try to make this a bit smaller so let's say 180 maybe there you go and we do the same with the other one so 180 as well here it is so that fits in perfect now we need to change the background color of those two so let's change this to red so this is one let's do the same with this one here oops sorry and this is red as well there you go we have our two different items and now when your customers receive this they might want to click on it so you have to add the link to your website obviously you know so this is the landing page for the gloves so all you have to do is just to copy this and paste it here Control v that's it basically okay and now if they click on this they'll go straight to your website and you, we do the same obviously with the other one and now we might want to add a small heading here on top. So we go back to our elements. I'm going to add some text, grab a uh, drag and drop. Very good. And now we can add some content here. So let's click on this. Let's change the background color. Let's go over red again. The font will be white. And then let's change the text here. Okay. And then we can increase the font a little bit. So let's try 18. So there you go. That looks perfect now. So let's have a quick look. Yeah, this is good. And let's add one more thing. Maybe uh, the social icon just at the bottom, you know, right here. And let's click on the background color. So let's make it completely transparent. This one, no color at all. And now you can add your social icons, obviously, you know, so have Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, and you can reorder them as well. Maybe you want YouTube to be first. So if you click on them, as you can see, now you can put the link to your social media platform, to your landing page, and then click update. You can do that with as many as you have. Now let's say you want to add Instagram as well. So select your social media platform. There it is. And you're going to put your address right there and then click save and that's basically it now you have them all but as you can see they're a little bit too close to each other so we can add a bit of spacing just like that perhaps you know and you have the width as well you can make them bigger or smaller depending on your own preferences so let's make them big enough like this and then you can change the color at the moment it's solid dark you can add colorful as well so these are the the origin genuine colors that people are used to but since our theme is black and red let's go with solid black and then once you're done and you're happy enough with the result as you can see this is fine you can have a quick preview as well as you can see this is the actual way they will receive it, uh, the exact same way your customers will look at it and then once you have if you're happy enough just click save and that's us done now again just to be on the safe side you might want to put this to the test so let's run a test here so we click on this insert your test email address and send email and here's the email i received exactly the same as we designed it and as the customer i might want to buy those gloves or that helmet so if i click on this now this will bring me directly to the website very good so now one last step if you want to use that template for all your confirmation emails all you have to do is to enable it as you can see enable this template click on this it's a toggle switch and from now on all the email confirmation that will go out will use this exact same template so again, this is a mighty comprehensive solution that will allow you to customize all your WooCommerce emails. And as a result, you will increase your conversion and generate more money. Now, if you wanted to learn how you can recreate website using AI technology, you might want to watch this video here.